When I talk about the Night of the Rising Stars, let me tell you guys something. Come January 29th, 1170 West Devon, the Belvedere in Elk Grove, hitsboxing.com. Get your tickets or hit my boy up, Nick Mazurik. There's going to be a, a bunch. Of, this lineup is huge. Want to talk about Night of the Rising Stars? This is the Night of the Rising Stars. Asbury, Mazurik, Gonzalez, Silvesky, Hernandez, and Jones. These all these kids all look like they're going to be top-ranked fighters one day. Okay? Come see this. This is a great card. You want to see great fights? This is going to be great fights right here. These kids all look, they're all studs. They're all of them. All of them. Okay? I'm going to be there with my pink cowboy hat, my sunglasses, and assless chaps. You're going to see Tasto out there, too. Okay? I'm going to be right there ringside for my boy and any of these other fighters. Okay? Tommy Zibikowski. I love him like a little brother. But I lit a fire underneath his ass. Okay? I mentioned that he wasn't the toughest guy at Notre Dame. He knows I was just busting his balls. Okay? His old man's got my mouth still stapled shut. But I talked to his dad, Eddie, today. He gave me a few things that I can't say. Tommy's buddy, fighter, Andre Fanfara, just gave Tommy a great uh, boost in a newspaper, saying he's a very skilled fighter, and he can light you up with one punch. <sighs> You'll be asleep. And for Mike Lee... I don't even think he'll give you a chance because you're not even at the level. You're not even at his level. Mike, my guy Tommy, he'll fight you with his right hand, with his left hand tied behind his back. He don't even need his left. Either way, he'll fight you left hand, he'll throw his right there. He only needs one arm to knock you out. So it's not, you know what, you're not even a case anymore because you're done. You're done. You've been through trainers, uh, promoters. Who knows? You and your old man are stuck in a bubble somewhere. So let's just stop talking about you. And as for your cousin, if my guy Tommy Sibikowski ever fights Mike Lee, when he knocks out your cousin, you're going to feel it. You might get knocked out watching the fight just by watching him knock out your cousin. I'm going to give you a story about Tommy Sibikowski, okay? He goes to Crank Gym, Crank's gym a few years ago. Emmanuel Stewart, God rest his soul, his gym in Detroit, okay? Now, Crank's gym is almost all black fighters. Tommy Zibikowski would go walks in there for a few days to train with his old man. And uh, he's going to do a little training there. He gets in the ring. One guy at Cranks goes, hey, Tommy, throws him the headgear. Tommy throws the headgear back. He goes, I'm good. I don't need any headgear. <laughs> the guy looked at him, what? All the black fighters in the gym, their mouths open up like they're catching flies, and their chin hit the mat. They're like, what the fuck? He trains all day with no headgear. You know what these guys all say at the end of the day? You're one bad white motherfucker. That's what their words were for Tommy Zivikowski. Now, he's 4-0. He was a little busy with his NFL career. Let's not forget, it's not like this kid's been walking around aimlessly. He was busy with his NFL career with the Baltimore Ravens. He's coming out, and as soon as I get the information, I'll let you know. But he's training with world champions. He's going to be headed to New York to train with Paulie Malignaggi. He's not training with guys from Piggly Wiggly or a guy that just got off the bus and wants to make an extra 50 bucks to spar for three rounds. Okay? He's fighting, training world. He's training with world champions. Okay? Teddy Atlas wants him. Freddie Roach wants him. They all want him. Okay? He's coming out soon. I can't wait. I can't wait. Come 11... Come, come January 29th, support my fighter, Nick Mazurik, Asbury, Mazurik, Gonzalez, Zaveski, Hernandez, and Jones. These are going to be great fights. Come on out. Hitsboxing.com. I love you guys. See you soon.